Um, and people who need to get in the hospital get in. Um, sometimes you might have to wait in the emergency room for, for a little while in a uh, well-supervised and uh, in controlled way before your bed opens up. But sometimes that happens during, uh, during January and February during flu season too. So um, it's kind of it's interesting. It's not all COVID in our hospitals too. For the acuity is high um, with other um, diseases and other things as well. So um, it's just a lot of sick people right now with a lot of different things. But yeah, we find places to, we find hospital beds for them and uh, we find uh, find ways to make sure they're staffed with, uh, with well, uh, with experienced and, uh, and, uh, and skilled nurses. Uh, and there are doctors there to take a look at them and, and watch over them. Um, but uh, you know, we would rather not have to uh, have special teams and such that are looking at orchestrating care between different areas. And so that's one of the reasons why we have this appeal um, right now, so that if somebody makes a phone call to get somebody on a bed, they don't have to wait and they can come right away. Yeah, similarly for Novant Health, I would say any, any patient who comes to our hospital that needs a bed, we've been able to find a bed. Sometimes that may not be in the hospital that they presented at. Uh, we've had to transfer patients between all of our hospitals to absorb the volume. I, I do think that there probably is a perception in the surrounding counties that we haven't been able to absorb as many transfers as we would have in the past. And so we have had to orchestrate that well with Cone and Atrium Wake Forest Baptist Health and others to make sure that we're helping all the communities that surround Forsyth and Gilbert County. But any patient that shows up in a hospital that needs a bed is getting admitted. Just because you're younger doesn't mean that uh, if you're exposed, you're not gonna get infected. Uh, the Delta variants, uh, um, oh, roughly, six times more infectious than the variants that we had at the beginning of the pandemic. So you don't need as much of an exposure. Um, and then if you are exposed and you're unvaccinated, you have about 2.2 times the risk of getting hospitalized with Delta than if it was one of the other variants. And that includes if you're younger. Being young doesn't uh, give you an armor all around you to protect you from that. And, um, and I, I would say that uh, the best way, even if you've had COVID, um, to keep yourself safe is to get vaccinated. And the reason why is if you've had COVID and you get vaccinated, your antibody levels go up about 10 mm -hmm. times. And the, 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 that potpourri of that porridge of different kinds of antibodies is actually a lot higher and a lot broader if you get vaccinated after having COVID. And so it's a great boost and it's a great way to protect yourself against variants, including the, the Delta variant. So I, I, I'd go do it. Um, take the time to go do it. It's certainly better than spending five or six days sick or time in the hospital. Yeah, we know that even if one person in the household is positive, it's likely that almost everybody else in the household is also positive. You know, so again, we can't, emphasize enough that just because you're young doesn't mean, you know, that you're invincible. You know, we're still seeing quite a few people uh, come to the emergency room feeling quite ill and don't have really that many um, comorbidities and other than, you know, that they're just young. And so we still need everybody to take it seriously and get the vaccine.